Breaking news here on CBS Sports HQ. Brave starter Charlie Morton will miss the rest of the World Series because of a fractured right fibula. Broken leg happened right here on this liner. Back to Morton off the bat of Yuli Gurriel. Then Charlie Morton proceeded to retire the next three batters he faced. Strikeout, line out, and a strikeout. Finally to Jose Altuve at that point. Motion to the dugout. I'm done. Come get me. And... A lot of people speculate, okay, maybe it's just an ankle sprain, but then we get word from the Atlanta Braves announcing the news. A fractured right fibula will miss the rest of the World Series. Hakeem Dermish back here with David Sampson, former Marlins president, won a World Series in 2003 with the club. Charlie Morton, done rest of the wet ray. Your reaction? Well, I've left my seats. I've gone to the clubhouse. I've spoken to the trainer. I've told the owner what the story is, and now I'm meeting with the GM and figuring out what we're going to do with the roster. So first, we're going to fill his roster spot, but we're also considering who we're going to have starting game five. That's how far we're looking because we know that game four is a bullpen game, but we also think there's a chance Freed could come back on three days rest and pitch game five. Those are all things we're going to have finished even before this game ends. So I'm not even watching my own World Series game because I'm dealing with a pitcher who's out. What does this do for the rest of the series? It means that the Braves have lost Morton. The Astros have lost McCullers. I guess we're all even, except it's 5-1 in the sixth inning. Braves, who saw that coming? We did. You and I saw that coming. We did not see Charlie Morton, though, getting injured. Um, what's unfortunate here is that Charlie Morton was pitching great. Two and a third, had given up just one hit, had struck out three, and then he's, his World Series is over. He won a World Series with the Astros in 2017, was looking to win a World Series here with the Braves, gave him a great start. When you look at how this kind of changes the dynamics, and you've been around players who have had some unfortunate injuries when you were with the Marlins, what does this do for the psyche of the team knowing it's game one of the World Series? We're not talking about game seven. We're talking about eliminating. We're, this is game. This is the start of the World Series. This is going to sound so harsh. It's not even going to be discussed by the players. It's something they don't even think about. So they'll see him in the clubhouse after the game. Pitchers who come out of the game in the middle of the game go to the clubhouse. He'll be there. Morton will be there. He's not back at the hotel. He may even come back out to the dugout and watch the rest of the game, or he's getting worked on in the training room. But it's not as though he's going to get a cast from head to toe. That's not how this is. And the players will just pat him, and they'll say, hey, great job, and then they move on. At this point in the season, it doesn't matter who's at bat. It doesn't matter who's on the bump. You can see the finish line from here. You need four victories. It doesn't matter from where they come. Well, it's next man up, and the Braves have done that all season long in May. Marcelo Zuna out rest of the season dealing with domestic violence. Then Ronald Cunha Jr. in July, torn ACL. Uh, before that, we saw Mike Soroka with the Achilles in June, and now Morton. So if any team's going to do it here against odds, it will be the Atlanta Braves that will rise up over this injury. I mean, just think about what's even happened in this game, right? With yeah. Val hitting the home run, he's a trade deadline acquisition. So the, uh, the Astros are in a position where they've got to deal with the pitch and rotation that's not ideal. The Braves are in a position where they have to deal with an outfield and a pitching rotation that's not ideal. So at the end of the day, this is what happens in the playoffs. It's been a long season. When you have 162 games following a 60-game season, the pitchers are tired. We talked about it on the queue before the season even started that there would be injuries. The hitters are tired, and you are literally gasping. This is like the end of a marathon when you're at mile 26 and you're just trying to get the last point to, and you leave it all on the line, and that's what's happening right now. Tough news for the Braves. Again, Charlie Morton will miss the rest of the World Series. Broken right fibula. Go on to rally without him. He'll still get a World Series ring. He'll be able to sport that ring off next season. He'll be good to go. Expect to be ready for spring training. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.